you doing? Listen, I know. I know, I know, I know. I've been gone for a month, but I can explain. I know I've been gone for literally a whole month. And I haven't been off of YouTube for like that long. Okay, in a way, like I low-key have, but at the same time, I didn't. This time, I wasn't recording at all for a month. The other times would be like, I would record. Like, I'd probably post a little late. Give me, give me, yeah. So I was still working, but no, like I have not touched my laptop. I have not touched my, well, I lied. I try to vlog. You know what? Hold on. Cause now I sound like I'm lying. I just been going for a month. Okay. I just had so much going on and it's been like a roller coaster kind of. While on my one month break, we reached 60,000 subscribers. So y'all clap it up. So as my video coming back, I do want to do like a kind of like a Q and A. Cause I feel like you guys don't really know me. So I do want to just answer a couple questions that, um, I did send in my broadcast channel. If you guys are not in my broadcast channel channel on instagram make sure you guys follow me on instagram and join the broadcast channel because that's where i put all my updates and whatnot and whatever so yeah if you're new here my name is mango if you didn't know you better get to know how old are you i am 21 you know i'm 56 years old damn i'm sorry my birthday is on April 28th, and I do turn 22 this year. My birthday's on a Sunday, the day I was born. I kind of want to do something for my birthday, but the plan that I'm thinking about doing, I lucky probably don't have enough time, and it's probably not the greatest idea if I, like, go through with that plan, so... Maybe next year when I'm 23. Oh my God, I'm getting old. I'm getting old, y'all. This is crazy. Any plans on being celibate, or do you think you'll become a celibate? What makes you... Are you calling me a... What makes you think I'm not celibate right now? What makes you that kind of hurt my feelings a little bit, babes? What were you implying? I mean, I've definitely done the whole celibate thing. The reason I feel as though because I'm not a fiend for, you know, the the playtime is because I'm so busy. Like I'm always I always have something to do. Like I feel like like the only time where you crave it is when you're literally bored and you have nothing to do. You have nothing going on with your life. So I think you should really rethink things if all you can think about is that. Because I be so busy to the point where I can't even low-key think about it. Because I don't have time to. I've done the whole celibate thing. I'm celibate now. Your biggest secret. Well, if I tell you, it won't be a secret no more, right? <laughs> you, th you almost got me there. You almost got me. How do I boost my confidence? You guys ask me this question all the time, and I honestly don't want to like just sound like generic. Confidence is definitely a huge thing for me now. The way that I'm so confident now is is really because I was kind of bullied into it. So when I think about high school and middle school stuff like that, I don't think of a good time. I don't know why. Like I don't want to blame the school. It wasn't the school. You know what I'm saying? It was just I didn't know. I didn't know a lot of things, and you probably think I was a little ditzy, but I did cover it up real good though. I feel like I was a little ditzy. I did think that school was gonna be like disney channel but i do feel if it wasn't for the bullying i wouldn't be who i am now if Rochelle wasn't bullied i would not have been pink mango it did take a like you know time obviously but once i started to figure out and learn that no matter what people are gonna have something to say about you whether it's good whether it's bad people are always gonna start gossiping about you there's people i go to school with right now probably sending sending a photo out or something like oh my god look what she's doing now oh my god a lot of my videos are going viral right now and you know i'm very grateful for that and there's people that were mean to me people who were like who were really nice to me you know congratulating me and no matter what the way i think of it life goes full circle so gaining confidence starts within yourself once you exude that energy out into the world it'll come right back to you and you'll actually feel it even if you have to fake it at some point i know for sure i was faking it i'm not gonna sit here and act like stuff like words don't still hurt me because you know they do sometimes but it don't hurt me as much as it did before so i'm not gonna let it happen another thing that plays into part is you know i do listen to a lot of music that kind of relatable or like i'll listen to a song and i'll kind of not make it relatable but like i'll kind of like put it into like what i'm feeling like do it for yourself don't do it because you know that was another issue that i had i was trying to be someone i wasn't i was trying to be accepted by like the populars like if i had the chance to do high school again i'd have a bigger impact because when i get a lot more uh what's the word famous i don't know what's the word i'm, I'm trying to find but not famous because that sounds crazy it's probably gonna be a time where they be like oh my god that's her yearbook and i'm not i'm barely in my yearbook like I was looking at my yearbook with my friends. This is my yearbook, y'all. This is my yearbook. Class of 2020, and I'm barely in here. My yearbook photo, I look like I was casket ready. Like I was already in a casket. You know, I do wish that if I had a time machine, I'd definitely uh go back and do things for myself and not to be accepted by people. How many wigs do you have? I don't know. Honestly, I've been getting a lot more wig collabs lately. Okay, how many new wigs do I have? Let me see. I have one, two. 
three, four, five, six, seven. I think I have about 10 new wigs. Um, I have some wigs upstairs in my bedroom, but they're in bins and I have like two bins full of them. So honestly, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I have like 20 wigs, it's a lot of wigs. I just like wigs. Wigs are my best friend. I can't tell if you got a BBL or not. No shade, we want to know. This is crazy. When when did the BBL allegations begin? I don't have no BBL. It's all in the poses, y'all. A lot of guys will comment and be like, oh my gosh, you made me so comfortable to wear crop tops. It's like, wear whatever you want. Honestly, people still don't like, first of all, my parents don't even like when I wear crop tops. They be like, mm, girl, I don't know if that look right on you. But at the same time, it's like, what are you going to tell me that I don't already know? I don't feel as though my body type is too off. I'm a tall girl. I'm 5'9". My license says 5'10". But, you know, I'm going to go with 5'9". I'm pretty, like proportion i got breasts i got a butt i got a gut i don't really try to hide it but it's all in the angle what are some goals you're working on on the moment i was trying to have it like be like a little secret or like a little surprise pop up but life decides to start laughing but not in a bad way like in a way where i got way too busy but i do want to start streaming on twitch now my original plan i was gonna start streaming with my playstation which is right behind me i was trying to start streaming with my playstation i bought like the stream deck and i bought all this this is a monitor this is not a tv by the way okay i got money i bought this huge monitor and i have all this extra stuff but for me to start streaming with just a macbook and a playstation it's too stressful for me and i'd rather just go get myself a pc now not saying that i can't do it with my macbook but i just rather not be stressed out even more than i already am so another goal of mine right now i do want to bring back um my cosmetic line in 2020 during like covid all this extra stuff i did start this uh, makeup brand i'm still in love with the idea i feel like it was really original and i feel like with the knowledge that i have now of content creating i feel like i could do something big with it my brand was called perfect finish cosmetics it was basically like a y2k um makeup brand i had like a whole bunch of stuff i had characters makeup pieces were gonna be like collectibles so i had like characters and and, um their zodiacs and their personality traits their story i really want to like bring that back so i definitely want to bring back my cosmetic line and like go full force with that too i really want to do that i've slightly thought about dropping a new merch i don't know i want to do like a merch where it's more like graphic my first merch drop it was nice as like my first rollout you know what i'm saying i don't like rollouts that are too too in your face because then now it's hard to beat it i don't know there's a lot of different things that i kind of want to do i want to like add another source of income i just want to do more biggest flex right now i'm not sure i really i don't know i haven't really been shopping lately because brands just be sending me stuff like i don't know i'm sorry my biggest flex right now is how humble i am it sounds like a little corny honestly like to call yourself humble it's kind of like girl are you really humble but no i'm really humble i'm still always gonna act like a normal person because that's who i am my titty sag like y'all i mean i don't know if your titty sag but mine do saying i shit like y'all i get sick like y'all first of all hold on talk about sick i ate some chipotle i had just started recently eating chipotle my sister really got me into eating, eating chipotle like i've never really had chipotle until this year 2024 i had some chipotle about two hours later my stomach like rumbling i'm like you know let me go lay it down like i'm feeling a little weird i'm trying to take a nap i can't take the nap i'm my body like no you cannot take this nap i'm like why can i not take this nap i need this nap and then you know i'm like okay let me get up i go in the bathroom i'm in the bathroom for an hour i'm just sitting over the toilet like yo like what's not why not they coming up i get up to go give me some water i feel something rushing up my throat pause pause i go into the bathroom and i'm just throwing up but not only is the throw up coming from my mouth it's coming from my nose and it's spicy there's corn coming out my nose there's salsa coming out my nose it's it's spicy and it's burning my like it was so bad chipotle you lucky i'm scared of big adult tasks like suing you lucky uh should i start a youtube i think everyone should no let me not say that i think you should only start a youtube if if you're okay with talking to yourself because i do this all the time to y'all because the video is edited and all this extra stuff it's like oh my god this the video <laughs> but me i'm literally talking to myself to a camera like this is literally my life like i'm literally sitting in front of a camera just talking to myself and a ring light so as long as you're comfortable doing that i think you should definitely do that if you're gonna start a youtube you do not need all that extra bullshit when I started YouTube, I had my busted iPad. Y'all are here from the beginning, beginning. Y'all know I used to have this iPad. I still have it. I use it for like minor things in the iPhone 11 and I use the back camera of my iPhone 11. And I didn't even have a tripod. I used a, a, a fake flower pot from Five Below to hold my phone up. So you don't need all that fancy equipment. Just get some good lighting and just like be yourself. Would you ever smack a small child for a million dollars? 
Yeah, that's an easy bag. It depends who child this is. If you told me to, oh, who just recently had a baby? If you told me to go smack Rihanna kid, I'm not doing it. It makes no sense. I'ma smack the kid, I'ma get the money, and then Rihanna go get Rihanna go get a hitman and kill me. Why don't you bring your friends on your channel anymore? We just have very distinctive schedules now. Before we were like end of high school, beginning of college, and we had a lot more time on our hands. I don't go to college. My friends do go to college, so our time schedules be very off. I have a lot more free time to technically because I am always home editing or stuff like that but they also have school and work and YouTube is my full-time job social media is my full-time job so I do technically have a lot more t free time on my hands we've talked about it though like a couple of my friends like we've talked about like um doing another video together it's never really planned it just comes naturally I don't really consider those collabs because those are my friends you know what I'm saying I've never really done a collab with someone like strictly for business and I don't think I could do that because if I don't like you and I just met you and we're doing a video together I'm gonna stop the video immediately I'm like you know this was nice which part of new york are you from not too much military or cowgirl <laughs> definitely military for sure any new love interest um no and the reason why i say it like this because i i love you don't have time for it like, like i want one don't get me wrong i would love one but at the same time it's like it's a little harder for me because the way most men think when a girl has so many followers and all this automatically now i'm baba now i have too many options and that's really not the case for me you know say my phone is dry as day the only person that texts my phone on a daily basis is my best friend if i were to have like a, a love interest right now we'd have to be like not in the same field but they would just have to be very understanding of that i'm a very busy person also like i just have a lot of things that i would like to get done and i think if i start looking into like you know my love life i would literally start losing track how was it walking on a red carpet okay so this was really like okay let me explain you my first experience the first experience was not a red carpet but it was an early movie screening and this was at the bob marley movie premiere if you guys want to watch the vlog for the bob marley movie premiere it's on my vlog channel honestly like the other influences there some of them some of them because i did meet some really cool people when i did meet my birthday twin on there they they were acting like as if they were madonna themselves like they were beyonce like they were kim k and i was you know it was very like mm, someone needs to humble you but then i realized they're not a lot of them weren't from new york a lot of them were traveling like some of them were from jersey some of them were for like um from philly and i was like okay it makes sense because y'all not as real as a new yorker you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we don't do all this. Well, some of us don't do all that. Some New Yorkers be doing too much. Like, going in there, it was nice. Walked in. They handed us some drink. Um, we had Getty Images take some photos for us, which that part was a little, like, really scary for me because it was it was too fast. It was like, hey, 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 look over here. Click, click, click. And then it was this move. Now, my second experience at the actual red carpet, this was the movie premiere of Drive Away Dolls, which is a very interesting movie. It's definitely not rated PG, so yeah a lot more organized than the bob marley movie premiere that i went to i didn't even get his name but the guy that was helping me he was like oh come follow me and dudes are so nice and you know i went and got my photos taken and it was it was really nice but it was really like kind of like oh my god like y'all this is about to be my life so but i manifested this though you know what i'm saying i ain't manifest no damn red carpet though but grammys hit me up people's choice hit me up but y'all know i'm ready for uh next year my invitation should be pending thank you mr beast if you're watching this send me a box of chocolate and lastly we're just gonna end it off with how have you been lately i just i look at this been feeling real blessed i'm real grateful for what's going on right now i took a month off i'm coming back with more content i know i owe you guys a couple videos so the videos are going to be coming soon 2023 the beginning of 2023 was very hectic for me like from january to march was like the worst time of my life literally from april to like december it was the best year of my life like i accomplished so much in literally a year not to say like where i come from because i don't come from the slums i'm not i don't come from the trenches at all i don't i'm not about to sit here and live that lifestyle i never came from the trenches and i'm you know i'm blessed there's a lot of creators that like to act like they i have haitian parents now if you have haitian or caribbean parents you should know what i'm talking about like it's it's really hard but that is it for today's q a video stay tuned for the craziness of videos that you guys been begging me for i hope you guys got to know me the best way you can honestly i hope you got a lot from this if you got more questions just know just ask me in the comment section i'll try to answer all you guys but yeah Mango loves you. See you later, Bookie.